Hello friends, welcome to the class on computer aided engineering drawing. So in this class or video, we are going to solve a problem on pentagonal lamina. So the data has been given like this. So pentagonal lamina of which is 25 mm is resting on HP with one of its corner. Okay. So I am going to take this data. I am going to draw it first. So it is a pentagonal lamina. So I am going to take a line command. So first I am going to draw a pentagon. So starting point of the line. Uh, what is the length of this? It is a 25. Enter. Angle is 0. Enter. Okay. So next one will be the length is 25. Enter. Then angle is 72 into 1 enter okay so next once again it will be 25 enter next will be so angle will be 72 into 2 enter next once again length is 25 angle is 72 into 3 enter so after that you are going to join to the end so this is how I am going to construct a pentagon. Okay. So next it is resting on one of its corner. So I am going to uh, rotate this in such a way that one of its corner will come to the right side. I am going to take a rotate command. So click on the element to modify. So this is the element to modify. Okay. Click for the center of rotation. I am going to fix one of the yet this is a one of the corner i am going to fix as a center and another corner i am going to rotate so when this edge becomes vertical i am going to leave but make sure this must be in off condition because i need the parent copy itself has to be rotate see so here in this way i am getting one of the corner to the right side see it is resting on one of its corners such that the edge opposite is this corner is 20 mm. So let us take this. Now I am going to give the naming. So this one as A, B, C, D and this one is E. So I am just going to zoom this area so it will be visible properly. So before that, I would like to draw the XY line. So thickness must be how much? 0 0.13 starting point of the line and ending point. So this must be a horizontal line like this. After this, I am going to draw the projections. So projection line must be thickness of how much? 0 0.13. So from E, I am going to the vertical projection upward until it touches the XY line. In the same way from D, vertical projection. In the same way, C, vertical projection like this. Okay. Then I am going to take a line command of thickness how much? 0 0.5 because I am drawing the front view from this corner to this this corner to this i am going to draw the line now i am going to give the naming so this one as a dash in bracket what e dash because e dash is invisible in the same way b dash in bracket d dash so here in bracket c dash okay so this is the first step so drawing the front view and top view okay so next data so one of its corners such that the edge opposite to this corner is 20 mm above hp so this is the data which is being given in with respect to hp inclination with respect to hp so what i am going to do is i am going to draw a line of thickness how much 0 0.13 I am going to just draw a line above the XY line like this. Okay. So this must be of thickness how much? So it must be of thickness 0 
now i am going to take the smart dimension i am going to measure the distance from this to this it is how much 38.4 and also i need to fix this distance from this line to this line how much is this it is 20 mm mark this this is now it is 20 mm above the hp now i am going to take the command call as arc by center point method okay i am going to fix the center of the arc that is on the x y line okay it is resting on one of its corner which is the corner to the right side that is c dash the corner to the right side so first i am going to fix the c dash like this okay what is the length of the arc it should be 38.47 enter so now the arc is ready click for the starting point of arc this is the starting point of the arc and this is the ending point of the arc okay so now i am going to take a line command okay so thickness must be how much 0.5 from the center of this arc i am going to draw a line up to here okay so now what i am going to do i uh, once again i need to take a measurement that is c dash to b dash so this line i need a measurement so it is 14.69 once again i am going to take the arc by center point method from the center i am going to draw an arc of 14.69 and i am going to draw the arc like this okay so it will be better so the arc thickness must be 0.5 okay i am going to change it to 0.13 now i am going to give the naming so what are the naming so this one is a dash in bracket e dash year in year it will be b dash so here it will be b dash in bracket d dash and here it will be c dash okay so now what next now i am going to draw the projections horizontal and vertical projections to write the top view so take a line command of thickness how much 0.13 so from the c dash vertical line and from c horizontal line so make sure alignment indicator is on it will be very easy for us to draw so next the projection from b dash and b horizontal projection and i am going to join this in the same way i am going to join the projection from b so this is a projection of both d dash and b dash in the same way i am going to do the vertical projection from a dash and d dash this is a a dash right next one i am going to the position from e dash what next so we need to give the naming so that is very much important my friends this is a b c d and this one is e okay so now once again i am going to take a line command thickness must be 0.5 because i am going to draw the top view so from end point of a to b so make sure whenever it shows the end point then only you have to click c c to d d to e and once again back to a this is how i am going to draw the top view okay after drawing the top view the step number 3 inclination with respect to vp <coughs> what is the data which is been given with respect to vp such that the edge opposite to this corner is 20 mm above hp and makes an angle of 45 degree with the vp so it is resting on one of its corner okay so which is a resting corner you please pay attention on the corner which is on the xy line so that is the resting corner opposite to this resting corner is a edge that is ae 
this edge is inclined at an angle of 45 degree to VP. So what we need to do? So I am going to draw a line which is inclined at an angle of how much? 45 degree. So take a line command. Thickness is 0 0.13. I am going to draw a line uh, which is inclined at an angle of 45 degree like this. Okay. So angle between command. So from this line to this line, it is how much? 45. Enter. Okay. So I need to fix this edge AE on this 45 degree line. So for that what I am going to do, I am going to use a move and rotate command. Okay. So first I am going to select this object. So complete object including the naming. So it will be easy, very easy. Now I am going to select a command called as move. See I need another duplicate copy. This must be in on. So click for the point to move from. So I need to hold either from A or I need to hold from E. I am going to hold it from the corner E. And I am going to bring it when the 45 degree line becomes red. You just click on this 45 degree line. Okay. Now right click. You will be exiting from the move command. Still the object is selected. Now I am going to select the rotate command click for the center of rotation so corner e is already fixed i am going to take that as a center of rotation and click for the point to rotate from i need to fix another corner a i am going to take the a and i am going to rotate when the 45 degree line become right and this must be in off condition now this is a parent copy so parent copy itself has to be rotated like this. Okay. So now the edge opposite to the resting corner is inclined at an angle of 45 degree. Now take a line command. So thickness must be 0 0.13. Why? To draw the projection from A to A dash like this horizontal as well as vertical projections. Next in the same way i am going to take the e e to e like this next b so where is b yes this is a b horizontal and vertical projections and also from the d so this is a d right okay now finally i need to locate the c Okay, so this is how I'm going to draw. Now take a text command, name it properly. So this is A dash. So this one is E dash. Correct. And uh, this one is B dash. This one is D dash. And finally, the resting corner is C dash. Okay. Now take a line command of thickness 0 0.5 to draw the final front view from C dash to D dash, D dash to E dash, E dash to A dash, A dash to B dash, this is a B dash and finally this one is C dash, right. So this is the problem. And also don't forget to show the dimensions. So this one is 40, 25. Okay. So this is a problem which has been given. So it is a pentagonal lamina of how much? 25. It is resting on of one of its corner C. And the edge opposite to this corner is at an, uh, 20 mm above HP. That is the second step inclination with respect to HP. Next, the rest, uh, the edge opposite to this corner is 45 degree to VP. That is the last position. This is a final front view and this is a final top view which satisfies all the given conditions in the problem. I hope you understood. Thank you. Namaste.